So you're never gonna guess where we are. <laughs> and this is an exciting day for them. The truck has arrived, the forklift's got it out, the machine's in place, and there's one happy guy. So it's day three of their training. I like to show up uh, after our technicians just to make sure we got the flow down pat. And I love peeking over a pile of parts and seeing Cosmo sanding away. They've got it dialed in only on day three, sanding fully primed doors, two minutes and 38 seconds. Pretty hard to beat. Perfect quality, no sand throughs. I don't have to tell you how critical it is to not over process and trying to repair sand throughs all the time. One of the other important parts of this U-shaped cell is that the operator and the robot are sanding at the same time and there's a built-in inspection. This is a thorough inspection and you can see in the background the robot's still sanding. So we're not losing any time whatsoever by making sure all of the parts are perfectly ready for the next step. And as you can see, the operator is not struggling whatsoever. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about uh, how much I love Cosmo. Let's see what other people have to say. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm the finishing manager at Lato's Cabinetry. And uh, I guess I'm gonna tell you about our initial experiences with the Cosmo robot. Um, so far, I think the thing that I like the most, that I'm the most impressed by, is how uniform everything is. It's just coming across as completely standardized and we're getting such great results from part to part to part with no variation. And I also really like the fact that it's so fast as well. It's increased our capacity as a result and we're just turning up products uh, at, a, I think, a better rate than we were before. This always happens. We always end up standing around watching Cosmo sand. It's just fascinating to see that work getting done without a human being on the end of a palm sander. All right, uh, Jason here from Lighthouse. We're just finishing up day four of our Cosmo training. Uh, initial thoughts, uh, I think we, we started off and we were just running parts through the robot and not working with the machine. Um, and we, we quickly turned that around. Now we've got everything moving in sync. So um, most important takeaways for us is that you gotta have your cell set up and you gotta have the operator working in um, synchrony with the robot, sort of like synchronized swimmers. Um, I think that in a month's time, the Cosmo is gonna be the heartbeat of our organization and we've gotta find a way to work um, perfectly in balance with that in all departments. So our daily throughput, what we're gonna be looking at doing coming out of our four day training is matching all departments with the throughput that we're gonna be having coming out of our prep department and trying to get the hijunka uh, as perfect as possible. <laughs> the finishing department manager was saying that we're around 10 minutes for a raw door. I think we were around 12, 13. Um, right now, I think we're clocking like off the Cosmo, I don't know, two, two minutes, 40 seconds, around three minutes maybe at the most. Um, so drastically faster. But the other thing too is that we do a lot of big parts here, many of which can't go through the Cosmo. But I think that what we're seeing already is the people who are sanding those larger parts start to copy the robot, which is great. Um, it really just sets the tone for the entire department, regardless of whether or not parts are moving through the machine. So here's just another view of the cell working. Um, connecting those processes are so critical, I can't even explain it. You're getting all of your doors finished, ready to spray in the same time your operator is just doing the hand sanding. Having those processes connected is absolute magic. Oh, Friday afternoon, we're shutting down for the day. Gentlemen, we'll see you later. This is our number one operator in the world now. Have a good weekend, guys. One more successful factory who has decided They've just had enough with hand sanding. Onward and upward.